my company, NAV, our goal is to decrease the death rate of small businesses. It was about a year ago, we started moving down the path of looking at containerization and Kubernetes in order to help us be able to run workloads um, that were distinct from one another, but yet could share a similar resource pool. And that uh, was one of the primary reasons of starting to look at, at cloud native offerings. I have a little bit of history around different um, offerings in this space. You know, Kubernetes had a fair amount of people gathering behind it, you know, to help make that project successful. And I think another thing is that it was born out of Google. Those two things, and then evaluating the other solutions. The other solutions tended to be fairly heavy-handed. The reason we decided to go to Kubernetes opposed to the other solutions is, is Kubernetes gave us uh, a very simple way to be able to step into an orchestration solution that fit our needs at the time being, but also the extensibility of it allowed us to be able to grow with it and be able to build in more features and functionality later on. There, there's quite a bit of impact in, in a lot of various ways. I'd say primarily it has made it drastically simpler for us to be able to scale out and be able to handle much, much larger loads and a much simpler process. That I think is probably the primary one. The other piece that is secondary but also pretty drastic for us is the developer interfaces with Kubernetes. With Kubernetes it has become simple enough that the developers can do it all themselves. The CNCF helps perpetuate the possibility and the future of Kubernetes and the other projects that are forming underneath it. Kubernetes, Prometheus, and Envoy are all ones that we are actually using. The community is absolutely vital. Being able to uh, pass ideas around, being able to talk about a lot of the similar challenges that we're all facing, and being able to just get help in the future as, as far as product landscape is concerned and roadmap for us is definitely around storage and also around service meshing. So as we've grown into the Kubernetes landscape, those two pieces are starting to become uh, very troublesome for us. And you can see that, I think, with the community itself, that there's a lot of formation around service meshes and, a, and around being able to natively support storage. I, I really like the, the landscape moving forward. Above all else, it's best to just take one small piece at a time and let that digest and then move on to the next piece. It's summing up our experience with Kubernetes, it's kind of like peanut butter and jelly in a sandwich. Kubernetes helped become the jelly of our peanut butter sandwich within uh, containers.